Looking at the spectrum analyzer up to a thousand megahertz, we are now about to start transferring the large file over. Now, the file is now transferring, and I think you can see that there is no substantial difference in the display. And we will now switch the file transfer off. And that is the file transfer off. This is now transferring the same file and it's only going to take 12 or so minutes uh, uh, this way. This is with the two Belkins connected together through our balanced uh, made for purpose under section 116 of the Wireless Telegraphy Act uh, proper balance line. Um, the main supply into the boxes is filtered 60 dBs. by 60 dBs. The display was shown using the Belkins both in their screen box with a proper balanced feed. Uh, design, well this is as per section 116 of the Wireless Telegraphy Act which says if you're going to put RF energy in a substance, uh, a material substance, it has to be screened and it has to be properly constructed and arranged for the purpose. We're now on 17.909 megahertz with the Belkins idling in their box. No, Actually, no, transferring uh, transferring the file across, and you can hear that the spectrum is uh, absolutely quiet on uh, 17.909 megahertz. We have to ask the question why it is so quiet, and the answer is readily seen because the Belkins are uh, networked via a properly screened and balanced system and not the mains wiring which Belkin recommend and Ofcom permit. Mains wiring is manifestly unsuitable as the PA consulting report that Ofcom commissioned pointed out. We're now looking at 27 megs in the middle of citizen band which is one of the uh, areas that uh, are not notched out on the Belkins and one which Ofcom isn't particularly keen to uh, sort out problems on and uh, this is the Belkins in the screen box and you can hear that the spectrum is pretty clear no sign of any noise at all and we are transferring a file at the moment here we are now with uh, 27.496 megahertz as before and you can hear a dreadful racket. We've just plugged the Belkins in out of their screen box. Oh my god, listen to that. Isn't that amazing? Just look at the rubbish that they're chucking out now. And we're still looking up to a thousand megahertz. And we're listening on 27 and a half megahertz. And there's the Belkin plugged into the mains and it's transferring a file. Now we'll stop the file transfer. And there we are. But we're still hearing a horrible racket just with the things idling. What a disgrace. We're now looking at 17.909 in the 16 meter band. Uh, this is the Belkins idling. We'll go back to the spectrum analyzer. And uh, this is the spectrum analyzer. You can see the pulse is going. We have a network between the Belkins. And we're going to start the file transfer up. And now on 17 megs, the file transfer. Just look at that on the spectrum. And just listen to that. Isn't that marvelous? We're now looking at, uh, again, 17 megs, but this time tuned to a commercial broadcast station. And you can hear the noise. We'll go back to the spectrum analyzer, looking at a thousand megahertz, and just see that muck that's coming off there. We'll now stop the file transfer. 
That's the file transfer off. You can still see the, the uh, spikes coming from the Belkins as they're idling, and you can hear them on the radio. So we will now unplug both of the Belkins. That's one gone, and that's the other gone. And as you can see, the reception on the 16 metre band is absolutely perfect. You'll see there on screen a quote from Section 116 of the Wireless Telegraphy Act 2006. This is a carryover from the 1949 legislation drafted by Lord Cherwell, who was Churchill's chief scientific advisor. Ofcom, for some reason, do not seem to want to apply the legislation when it comes to power line network adapters. We think Ofcom are wrong, as this video and the one before it demonstrated. To quote the great Winston, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. And perhaps that sounds a little bit strong, but we are talking here about the radio frequency spectrum, which is a facility there for the common good. If we don't act now to force Ofcom to take action over power line network adapters, they will take over the entire radio frequency spectrum. So you will no longer be able to listen to FM broadcast, DAB radio, nor will the emergency services be able to communicate effectively with each other without the risk of interference. And of course, aircraft will not be able to communicate or instrument landing systems operate properly. Ofcom is clearly an organisation no longer fit for purpose. Under the Communications Act 2003, it shall be the principal duty of Ofcom in carrying out their functions to a further the interests of citizens in relation to communications matters and b to further the interests of consumers in relevant markets where appropriate, by promoting competition. They seem to have put item B above item A. Their other specific duties include ensuring the optimal use of the electromagnetic spectrum. That means the radio frequency spectrum. They are singularly failing to do this by allowing the proliferation of power line network adapters which pollute whole chunks of the spectrum between 2 MHz and, as you will see in this video, up to and beyond 300 MHz. Ofcom has clearly lost the plot. <laughs>